for being here today. I feel like, Venus, you touched on something that spoke to me, and I think the word of the day is purpose. Because a lot of times we go through life not knowing who we are, not knowing what we're destined for. And there's so much feeling in that. I never imagined being up here saying that I'm a painter, an artist, or even a designer. I didn't see that in my life. When I thought about it, it just feels so surreal, like, oh my God, this is who I am. But I didn't go to college for this. I went to school for marketing. But I ended up here. I decided, I said, like, you know what? I'm in this industry of marketing. I want to make myself more marketable. Let me go for my MBA. Great. I graduate, and I'm like, okay, what's my next move? I'll be honest with you, I hate driving. So I decided, you know what, let me take this job that's five minutes from my house, even though it's nothing related to what I went to school for. Nothing at all, anything that I wanted to do, but it's five minutes and I'll take that. So how much, you know, how many of you guys can relate? Commuting is a pain in the behind, so when you have to do it for a long time, it sucks. So I, I went ahead and I, you know, got through with my prayer to God. I said, God, I just want this opportunity because I'm tired of dealing with this. So I went ahead and I got this job. It was advising, it was actually with the school that I just graduated from. I was like, oh, that's what I want, you know? I can help students navigate through their academic journey. It sounds like me. And I get into it. I'm working with mil the military population. I don't have any association. I don't even know what branches or what. But I'm the type of person, if I'm going to do something, I'm gonna give it 110%. I'm gonna give it my all. Because why do something I'm not gonna cuss, but you know, halfway. You wanna give it everything. So I sat there and I'm like, I'm gonna be the best at this. Not on some cocky stuff, but I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna own it. And I did just that. But the problem with me is I hate feeling like I'm stagnant. I hate feeling like I plateau. I hate feeling that I reach my ceiling and there's nowhere else to go because you feel stuck. Mm -hmm. And I get to a point where I'm like, dang. I am doing this job, I'm thriving in it, but I don't want to be here because I feel like I'm destined for more. I feel like there's something more for me and it's not through this. So at the time, I start dating my now husband, Trevor, and everything is going great. So in my personal life, everything is perfect. I have this great man, you know, we're doing all these crazy things. Six months, six months in, our crazy selves, we bought a house, so everything in my personal life is, is, is just lining up. All my blessings are like boom, 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 boom. But in my mind, I'm like, dang, I'm in this nine to five. And the truth is, we spend most of our days at work, most of our time at work. So that's something that you kind of, you know, you there's no way to avoid it. So now I'm telling him and I'm like, I, this is tough. Military is a small department in the school. Obviously there's a larger population at, at universities and there was, there was no, no opportunity. So I kept praying and I said, God, you know, even if it's not through this, give me another opportunity. Uh, I'll be ready, I promise. And I'm like, please just give me something because I just feel fat. And lo and behold, they decided to do some like restructuring and an opportunity presented itself within that department. So I was like, okay, maybe he, maybe you heard me, I hear you, I see you. <laughs> so I go ahead and I apply and I get it. So now I'm on cloud nine, we have our house, we're planning for a wedding, I'm like, this is great. And then I get to a point again where I feel like I plateaued. I feel like I reached my ceiling. And it was defeating because I'm doing so well in this role. I'm thriving. People are like, oh my God, Lily, you're so great. You do amazing. But I hate it. And I feel like I'm being fake. Every day I have to show up and show, pretty much show for other people because I'm the type of person, like I love to be that positive energy. The person that you walk in and you're like, you know what, I know you're having a bad day, but it's a bad moment. Don't worry about it, keep it moving. Life is good. We should be blessed and fortunate to have what we have. The problem is, I'm here just switching on a face. So I'm like, hi, oh, really good. And then in real life, I'm like, oh my gosh. Why? Why is this my life? And you know, I keep asking God, like, God, what is my purpose? Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Because I, I don't know if this is it. I don't feel it in my spirit. Because when you know, you know. 
feels it's appalling. It feels it's effortless. Good. You don't have to, you know, it, you don't have to wake up every day and be like, okay, gotta show up today. Mm -hmm. It just happens so naturally. And I started to do what I always do. When I feel lost, I create. I pour into, I pour my darkness into something that turns into something beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I look at life like that. Because when there's dark, there's light. Yeah. And I sat there and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take the cobwebs off my art page and start being consistent and just being me. So I started to use that as an outlet. I started creating, I started painting. I did a lot of abstract art because it just resonated with me. So I'm doing this. Then I start, you know, people start hitting me up and I'm like, oh, can I commission you for a piece? And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> okay. I'm like, you, you want me to do a piece for you? And in that, in that moment, I was not confident in myself. Mm -hmm. I was not confident in what I was doing because I didn't think that this could be something more. But I took it and I did the commission and I started growing and I started doing digital art and I started moving in this direction that made me feel so good. But on the other side, I was so sad mm -hmm. and in the darkest place. And all of my digital art, if you look at it, it's so, it's women crying, like you can just feel a sense of depression in there, but a lot of people connected to it. Let's think about it, the COVID hit, no one knew what was happening, everybody was in this, this state of like uncertainty of what our new normal would look like. So now I'm in this place where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so unhappy. And I just wanna know that this is something that I'm, that's meant for me. And what I mean is I'm doing this nine to five, Right, I'm not thinking about art. The nine to five, I'm like, please God, is this for me? You keep on presenting me opportunities and I don't feel like, like I'm walking in my purpose. So in my darkest times, I remember crying. I remember waking up and just being like, okay, you, whatever's meant for you won't, won't miss you and will always find you. So I vividly remember going to sleep and having a dream and as clear as day, you hear a voice that says, it gets me emotional because whew, everything will be okay. You just have to be patient. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what that meant because when I was in this dark place, I was applying for positions and throwing my hat everywhere because I wanted to feel like, I was in, like, in, a, in a mode of desperation. I just want anything. Just throw everything up in the air, whatever lands, I'll grab it. But the truth is, God has something more for me. I just didn't know what that was. But he told me to be patient. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. And what I did was I locked back in. I was like, change your attitude. Change your attitude. Because how you view life is how you receive it. Mm -hmm. So if you yes. view it through a lens of negativity, that's all you'll get. Yeah. And I did just that. I started to show up for me. I started to show up for the person that I knew I was supposed to be. And a few months later, I ended up getting promoted. And I'm like, I'm like, God, you gotta be messing with me. Because ain't no way that this is my life. I'm telling you, I hate it. I hate it here. But you promote me? This cannot be real. This, there's no way that I'm supposed to be here. But you promote me. So now I'm here like, okay, maybe there's something. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to run this department or something. You know, I'm an assistant director now. I'm overseeing all these stuff. But like they say, you know, more money, more problems, more time, more problems. So it grows on salary. And you know, that shifts a lot. So I'm working, I'm going, I'm like, oh, we're planning this wedding. I have like tunnel vision. And I'm like, oh, I got to figure out what's my next move. So I keep praying. And I'm like, God, you know what? I'm just going to live in the moment. I'm going to take what you've given to me. Because I keep asking for it. And you keep giving it to me. And I don't want it. So it's like, I don't want to get into a point where you're not going to give me anything because I'm not appreciating what I have. So I sat there and lo and behold, I see that Shein is rolling out this a pilot program for artists and designers. Mind you, I don't have any experience in fashion. I can tell you that from right in that industry. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, I do art. I do art. I can do art. You know, I, I, can, I can create something. And I'm going back and forth with myself, and I'm like, nah, don't do that, don't do that. Because mind you, I'm in a place where everything that I apply to, I'm getting rejected, but I'm getting promoted. So it's like, I'm in a weird, I'm in a weird state. So I'm going back and forth with, you know, with myself, and I'm like, girl, 
you can do this. And then the other side is like, no, nah. <laughs> stop. Stop because this feels like it's beyond you. And then I'm like, you know what? What do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? What's the worst that they can say? No. And then I just kept on telling me, telling myself, why not? Why not? And I applied. <laughs> and I said, Viva con Dios, whatever, whatever is meant for me will find me. And that's exactly what happened. A week later, they were like, oh, we love that you're a Latina, we love this, blah, 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 great. And I was telling my husband, I was like, oh my God, I hope they don't ask me any questions. I hope they don't ask me any questions related to fashion because I'm gonna have to Google it. I hope they don't know. And I'm like, oh, yeah, what's that? Okay. <laughs> so I'm over here like, oh my goodness. I have this interview, they love me, everything's great, I signed a contract, I'm like, ah, this is so crazy. But it's just, when I think about it, it's nothing but God to put me in a position to be in a field that I have no experience in. So I'm thinking about it and I'm like, you know what, maybe there's something more for me in this. Then they hit me with a, okay, we need 10 designs by in three weeks. And I'm like, <laughs> excuse me, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And the truth is, I allowed my fear of doing something different prevent me from going into this place of the unknown. Because the unknown is not scary. We're just only scared to take that leap of faith because we don't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. A lot of us love to live in a world of comfort. Mm -hmm. We are comfortable in the circle. Well, that's not a circle, but in the circle. <laughs> and sometimes stepping out of that feels it's just scary. It feels like, you know what, I'd rather deal with this than deal with that. And I sat here and I do what I always do. I made it happen. I presented my 10 designs and I'm like, here you are. Great. And they're like, great. Well, you'll hear from us from a few, in a few months. And I'm like, oh, that's it? <laughs> okay, great. So now I'm focusing back on my reality, which is my nine to five-ish. And I'm like, okay, we're getting married. All of these things are happening, but in my mind, I don't know why I still feel this way. I don't know why I feel this way. And I'm trying to find my way and I'm just trying to trust that this is building me up for something more. And it's hard, it's hard. And I feel like I was battling with the idea of being in the darkest place with my mental health, but also staying in a, in a place of financial security. Mm -hmm. Because financial security is like, it will keep you in a chokehold. You will sacrifice so much just to get a consistent paycheck but is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Is it worth pretty much losing you to for money? And I sat there and I'm like, you know what? Cool. I'm just gonna see where this where this leads me. It can lead nowhere, it can lead somewhere. So I'm doing this job and I'm showing up. I'm showing up because I told God, I said, you know what, you told me to show up every day and you're gonna bless me and I'm gonna do just that and I'm gonna have faith that this is going to be something more. And in June 2021, I launched my first collection. I was beside myself. <laughs> when I tell you, I'm like, oh my God. And I sat here and launched a collection. All of these designs here, I drew the patterns Ooh. and the prints and all of that. Like those, those come from me. And to be able to do that feels so crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting all, all this love, all, all these messages. Like, oh my God. This is so cool, this is amazing, whatever. You know, you're from Connecticut, that's awesome. And I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow, like I'm, okay, like I'm doing this. But I'm here thinking about it. I'm over here creating art for like the last year and a half and, and putting my digital artwork out there. And it wasn't until I got with Shein and had a contract with them where people started to put some respect on my name and be like, oh, okay. okay. And the truth is, the way people value success is based off of their own personal experiences. Mm -hmm. So they won't measure you the way you see you until they see you. And the reality is, like, I'm here for me. God gave me a purpose, and whatever I'm meant to do, no one can take that away from me. And no one can measure me against anything. There's no competition. So I sat here, I'm like, okay, launched my first collection, super excited. Then we're getting married, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna focus on planning a wedding. It's in September, and I was telling my husband, and I'm like, I don't know if I can come back. We did a destination wedding. So we're going, we're away for a few weeks, and I'm like, I really just don't know if I can just come back to this. Mm -hmm. 
I, I, I feel defeated. I feel like there's all these beautiful things happening around me, but my reality is the reality that I hate, and I don't know how to change that. But I do. I was just afraid to. And we had the wedding, it went off with a hitch. Next thing you know, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a cloud, and everybody leaves the resort. We, we sat down for dinner, and I just remember looking at him and saying, like, I know I don't want to bring this up. I don't want to talk shop here, but I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. It just makes me be everything that I'm not, and it's taking me into a place that I don't like to see myself. I, like, again, I just don't like to pretend. I like to be my most authentic self, and once I get to a point where I have to put on a face just to, just to maintain and survive, like I'm not here for that, because there's more that I could be doing and in that moment, I kid you not, I get a text message from my project coordinator from Shein, and they said, we loved your first collection, it was so successful, we would like to extend it and go forward. And I'm like, yo! <laughs> I'm thinking that, oh my baby! Like, oh my God, this is so crazy. And I sit here and I'm like, okay, when we get back home, I said, I'll be honest with you, this has been something that's on my heart, and I said, I really want to take a chance on me. And he looked at me and he said, you know what, once we get to the house, we'll figure it out, we'll come up with a plan, and when it's on God's timing, like everything will align. And I said, okay. So we get there, and we're trying to crunch numbers and be like, okay, how can I survive for at least a year? You know, make sure that we're good. And we did just that, and I said, you know, what's the worst that can happen? I try it and I go back to work. You know, I have the credentials. I can sit here and get another job. Do I want to? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't want to deal with that. So I sat here and I told him and I said, something is calling me to take that journey sooner than I anticipated. And on October 29, 2021, I chose me. I chose me. I chose to pour into me. I chose to remove myself from a dark place because I can control that. Right? You can control where you work. Sometimes our life, life circumstances puts us in situations where you feel like you have no out, like you feel like there's nowhere where you can go. But the truth is, when there's a will, there's a way, and you just have to find that. You just have to find that. And then, fast forward, I'm in fashion shows, I'm you know, on, on live with like 60,000 people, and I'm like, oh, there's a lot. Uh, I'm over here just like living in the moment and it's going to be two years going on two years that I've been a full entrepreneur pursuing art and I feel good I feel alive I'm growing and I love everything about it and the reality is you have to keep an open mind you have to just be open and, and uh, receiving because sometimes something that's scary that God is saying like hey I'm putting this in front of you I'm putting this in front of you because this is meant for you, but you don't want to take it. Because it's going to bring you to a place that you're uncomfortable with. And sometimes being uncomfortable is the best place to be. Because that's the only place yeah. you'll grow. Yeah. And what I'll say is this. Closed minds lead to closed doors. So if you keep them doors closed, your life will stay as is. But if I tell you anything, just keep pushing, keep growing, and keep thriving. Because what's meant for you will always find you. You just have to be open and willing to receive it. Amen. Wow. Yeah.